Sup shooters, my name is Logan aka Spider and so welcome to SP Reviews where today we're going to be checking out a track from an Oh, this is an interesting one. We've got TK and Team Amina uh, with a track titled Infuse New Breath. And if we switch over to here, um, this is the Mike Butler mix. This is the Tetsuya Komuro collaboration number one. They're doing a few tracks like this, whereas I understand that people use like stems and they create their own songs from them. There's a bit more to that, but I'm still figuring it out. Anyways, um, we're going to listen through this track from start to finish. And we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Let's do this. Right from the top, there we go. Oh. This is gorgeous, I love that piano line there and the panning on it. Oh, and the strings coming in now is a nice touch as well. Oh, fantastic use of that bass range on that uh, piano there, you know. Great development, it's effortless. Infuse new breath. It's uh, great. It's great to have these vocals come in here um, alongside those lead guitars. I wasn't expecting that to come in like this. As I understand, this is based off of a track, Internet for, for Everyone, if I'm not mistaken, from 2015. And so that people are doing their own sort of reimaginings of it, um, which is really cool. <laughs> Really compelling synth pads going on with these uh, sub leads and just the, the panning of the vocals on the far sides as well. It's um, it's really uh, pretty, pretty stuff. The mixing is um, solid as well, the production. It's nice to have the rapping coming in as well as a nice shift from the clean vocals, you know. Um, I suppose it may be a little bit more sort of engaging. Not that I'm not engaged, I'm enjoying my time listening to this, but maybe a little bit more sort of complete sounding if you actually understand what's being said to you. I mean, I understand the English, of course. Oh, we got a rapper who can sing as well. That is not as common as you may think or hope it is. And, uh, oh. I mean, that minor turn there with the tom fill was, I'm not sure why that was unexpected, but what I was, I was thinking, what are we going to do next? And suddenly we had what was coming next. It was a great place to put it. And back into those clean vocals. Nice rounding out of it. You know, you have the clean, wrapping, clean. Great stuff. And both together now. I'm kind of, I, you know, when people go, wow, wow, oh, 
Oops, a mic. Uh-oh. Luckily, I got a durable mic. You know, when people go, wah, wah, with the kind of guitars and stuff on the tremolo or whammy bars, you always expect to kind of have like a guitar lead coming behind it. Um, not that I'm necessarily complaining. It's just a kind of, it's a bit of a tease, you know, when you don't actually have that commitment. But it's nice to have the two singers harmonizing with each other here. I mean, to be fair to them, to be fair to TK and Team Amina and everyone else, we, we, we did have the guitarist come in later on with those uh, harmonies on top. You know, kudos to the production team, this would have been difficult to mix. There's just so much going on here, right? Wow, okay, so members of Team Amina are Chief for Music Director, Vocal Ranger, Kawaguchi, Taguyusuke, Yusuke, Tamaki, Takuya, Araina, Araina, Makoto, Chenji, Yagai, Yagaji, Marie, Ishida. So we got Sugi, Kom, Komsume, and Yuzu. And then we had, um, oh, it's crazy, dude. Mike Butler doing the mix and mastering engineer. Wow, dude. And then Tetsuya, Komoro, Ad Tracks. And then Amina, AR, producer. Yeah, this is their NST project. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you, you know where to go. Um, you know, I, I, there's a lot of, I can see other people getting into it. Like you can see like this is uh, renovation number 18. So it's, they've, they've, they've got a few people that are interested and engaged with it. And honestly, I suppose, you know, it's worth noting to those, uh, worth noting, it's worth noting to those that are uh, unaware that Tetsuya Komuro it was a phenomenally successful, successful, uh, wow, I'm stumbling with my words today. A phenomenally successful music producer, songwriter, lyricist back in the 90s and stuff like that. Still doing well today, but yeah, was right at the tippy top. And uh, it's cool that we get to, uh, they've got a collaboration there, understanding with each other, where they get to work with these stems and create their own stuff from it. Because this is effectively my conclusion of this track, Infused New Breath. Um, what do I think it's about? I think, judging from the bits of English that we had and how the people in the video came together at the end, maybe this song is about enjoying life, not taking each other for granted, a bit of trepidation and finding meaning within connection. That That's my be best guess about what it's about. I, I enjoyed my time listening to the story and I, again, I would say that safely that I would probably have a better understanding of what it was about if I understood the language natively or even as a secondary language, but it's okay. I enjoyed my time with the track regardless. The vocals, we had like the, the lady vocals and then we had the male rapper clean vocals and they bounced off each other well. A little bit of filtering on some of those parts, especially at the end as well, which was nice. If you filter the vocals and get a bit, bit of the mid-low resonance, then you have other vocal parts that are EQ'd correctly. Without it, you get a nice contrast between those things and you can even have two things in the center field without it being, or feeling too crowded, if you know what I mean. I'm really clever stuff from the people involved in this. But it wasn't just the, the production side of things, obviously. It was the actual vocal technique, you know? And when we had the rapping come in, the flow was great. Words came through clearly, even the English parts, you know? It's what you need in a, in a, in a song like this, especially as the initial... This is the first of these tracks through the Tetsuya Komuro collaboration. So you needed to be strong. And uh, I think it was a strong track. The rapping was great. And it was nice to have the contrast with those leads come in later on. Those, just the singing. And, uh, you know, the backing vocals and like the main vocals at the start through the verse and the choruses were beautiful and gorgeous. And they matched what we had going with those guitars and the synths and everything else. Um, so yeah, great vocal work, everyone felt comfortable in their range and there was a chemistry between the singers. Addition to that is the structure, the main motif. We had different parts. We had some different chord progressions and changes there where they were a little bit um, unpredictable, which I always appreciate. I like it when we see this sort of separate parts by a chord progression or a bass line or a theme 
or, or lead line and I think that we nailed that here. It was interesting to come in with the piano at the start and have the synth leads and the, the bass and guitar, guitars and drums and stuff come in later on. It was, again, as I've said several times, it was unexpected. Um, primarily because like, I'm still getting used to the sound of this, but then I suppose at the same time, the point of this collaboration is that it's creating entirely new stuff from like a few set ingredients. Um, so that's cool. Again, understanding the structure would have needed to probably have an, a firmer understanding of the story that was being told, but also the musical, the harmonies and melodies behind it, the work with those tomvilles and such, the way things were scattered in the stereo field, like stars and stuff like that. It was a little bit intense sometimes, but it never kind of came across as affronting. And overall, the sound, the tone of the track, even in those darker bits, still sounded palatable and approachable. So that's great. There wasn't really a note out of place. And um, I think that we didn't over egg the pudding, which is also fantastic, especially with this many different parts of the arrangement, like especially at the end with multiple, multiple vocal lines, the drums, the guitar, bass, and all, all, piano, all that kind of stuff, you know. There was a potential for it to become a little bit sort of too much, but we didn't have that issue. Um, finally, the production, recording, mixing, and mastering was absolutely stunning. Um, again, Mike Butler did a fantastic job on this, and I've got no real complaints. I mean, the actual sound of the recorded parts, like the, the vocals, were, were, were nice and fresh and clear and crisp. Um, the EQing on the filtering and effects chains were great as well. We didn't need to modulate the vocals because we just sung and rapped well, but at the same time, um, they melded well with the other parts of the. Um, arrangement and the any mix everything else was panned nicely you know you had lovely wide vocals and guitar parts with the leads there the harmonies there it just everything had a place in the stereo field and it was notched well in the frequency spectrum the gluing of the elements was great too nothing there were no weird resonances or anything like that additional that we had a situation with the um you know limiting compression where it was nice and loud without becoming too much there was a sense of dynamic range there and perceived loudnesses were adjusted occasionally so that it wasn't just all the same all the time. And I appreciate that. You know, overall, I'm very happy with Infused New Breath and this is basically my review of this track from TK and Team Amina. You know, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go and show some love via the various social medias and YouTube page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As you need the hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on the world and I will catch you in the next review, spot ends out.